And now, please welcome Megan Silva Schultz. You know, at, at first I was all excited to go last because I got to be an audience member, a fan to all these inductees. Now I'm realizing it's just seven acts to follow. So um, really it's a privilege to, to be here in, in your company tonight. And Kara, you had mentioned people to look up to, and I can let you know that you were definitely someone I was able to look up to as a women's basketball player, so thank you. <clears throat> And a, a big thanks to the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame and Eddie Webb and the selection committee that, that thought I deserved to be here. The weekend's really been first class <clears throat> and the honor is so appreciated. Um, I've been asked several times, what does it feel like to be inducted into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame? And my answers have always been genuine, but maybe a little bit expected, honored and excited. And I can tell you though right now, as I look out into the crowd, I really just feel so loved and supported. Um, <clears throat> and really, this is how I've felt my entire life and my entire basketball career, so it's incredibly appropriate. Um, and really, for me, it's, it's the relationships through basketball with some amazing people that make this honor so much more special. And I just feel so loved to, to see so many familiar faces here and know so many more here in spirit celebrating with me. Um, a couple of special thanks to my parents, uh, Catherine and Al. I really cannot thank you all enough for the sacrifices you made to make sure I could pursue the game I loved. I know vacations and a gymnasium were not always as much fun as the beach, um, but I'm, I'm so appreciative of those sacrifices. For the constant push and accountability to be better, <clears throat> for the support no matter how outlandish the requests. There was a, a period during high school where um, I asked my dad to stop coming to my games. It was, it was obviously because of him I wasn't playing so well. Um, and while he didn't follow it to a T, he, he hid in the hallways nonetheless, still cheering me on and I know yelling at the refs. Um, my mom was always the one behind the scenes. She didn't actually have to hide in the hallways. Um, but she was the one cheering me on while also making sure all other parts of our lives kept moving. Dinner, laundry, birthday parties, all the things that often go unnoticed. <clears throat> and I'm so, so appreciative. And now that I'm a mom, I realize just how deep a parent's love is and I feel blessed to learn and be loved by the best. Thank you. <clears throat> Of course, the rest of my family here, I have a, a ton of support here. My uh, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law. I'll get to my husband later. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate you being here and for all the support you've provided. Um, coach LaHaye, uh, my wonderful coach at Randolph-Macon, I'm so, so appreciative for your constant support, requiring excellence, and really teaching so many lessons beyond the court. Thank you for making sure basketball was a balance and still remained fun at the collegiate level. I came to Randolph-Macon because I love the game of basketball. So thank you for making sure that that love never went away. You've created a tradition at Randolph-Macon and I'm so, so very proud to be a small part of that. Thank you. Um, and to my teammates that are here tonight and those that couldn't be here, um, you know you are so much more than former teammates. You are lifelong friends. We had something special on the court, really a chemistry that was undeniable. But I think what we still continue to have off the court now is what makes our relationship so, so special. Most of the best memories I have include you. We celebrated big wins, we learned from tough losses, we danced to Jagged Edge, let's get married at each other's weddings, celebrated new jobs, and welcomed together the newest baby yellow jackets. You all, mean the world to me and I'm so, so appreciative to be able to, to share so many important stages of my life with each of you. <clears throat> to the entire Randolph-Macon family, this list is long. The support has always been so deep at Randolph-Macon for the women's basketball team and I'm so appreciative. President Lingren, Jeff Burns, all my amazing professors, 
Every single RMC women's basketball player, past and present, we are a family, and I feel so proud to be a part of that. Countless alumni and RMC fans that supported and continue to support Randolph-Macon, um, you all are what make me really proud to be a Yellow Jacket, and really what makes Randolph-Macon College really the most special place on earth. <clears throat> and as promised, um, to my husband Wilson and twin boys Chase and Gavin, Basketball has always been my reason and my passion, and I feel so blessed to now have you as my reason and my passion. Like only basketball could, you inspire me daily, challenge me always. One slight difference, in basketball I felt like I always had control. And if you look at my two boys right now, they're both shoeless, sockless. It's taken everything in us that they haven't been up and down the aisles. Um, but you really bring out the best in me. Um, one of our favorite things to do as a family is to go back to Randolph-Macon together. In fact, the last time we were there, we were watching a, a women's basketball game, the NCAA tournament, um, just a few weeks ago. Uh, and I probably had one of my best defensive moves ever made on the, the court there as one of my sons rolls out a Hot Wheels, nearly tripping an official. Um, I know all my teammates were shocked at how quick I, I played defense. Um, since I was more known for the offensive side. Um, but really, I, I cannot thank you all enough for all the support and the love um, and really commitment to me that you've made. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, this was Megan's coach, who she talked so fondly of, 36 years as the head women's basketball coach at Randolph-Macon, Carol LaHaye. So of course, Megan's stats and accomplishments speak for themselves, but what is something else that is so special about Megan that makes her the person she is today? Well, I think her speech kind of reflected the type of person that she is. She is very genuine, um, just loves to have a good time, uh, really cares about the people around her and everybody that comes into her life and shares in, in part of that and the memories that she, she gives to all of us. Do you have a favorite memory of coaching her? Is there one moment that really stands out with her? Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> She said, are you going to ask me anything hard? I said, no, it'll be a breeze. It's all about Megan. <laughs> well, four years um, to try to pick one particular memory. Um, I would say probably playing for the national championship um, as close as we were to, uh, to our own site, going to uh, Virginia Wesleyan College and playing for that championship. I mean, we just could not do what we wanted to do and what we had done all year long. And I just remember the look on all of their faces, but Megan's in, in particular, and, and how sorry she felt that she let the team down. But it was all of us that particular night. We just couldn't do what we wanted to do. But. And still a spectacular team with a Hall of Famer. Oh, absolutely. No question about that. All right, Coach, thank you.